Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Today, guys, um, I would like to talk about some fundamental issues, um, in my opinion, why Bitcoin will go to the new all-time high and much higher than the previous all-time high. What are the reasons for that? But before I uh, talk about this, I would like just to look at the general um, state at the market and at this red day, what is happening and what to expect and talk about the previous position which we looked at. So. As you see, we didn't break uh, $4,100 and we fell from that and now we're still sort of struggling to go either higher or uh, consolidating at this, le this level. First, you may think about that as uh, just a correction of previous rise. It was really, really long and strong, strong um, movement of the price up in an upward direction and this was not a huge correction but this might be a, a reasonable correction for this previous move and in principle we may return to the higher levels the one of the part like part of the sentiment uh, I had is that uh, I looked at the this break uh, of one dollar mark by tether and it was showing very huge strength and also when it was hitting the one dollar level it showed a lot of the volume so the uh, tether was seemed to be pushing the price of bitcoin higher and higher however now it didn't go um so at, at, at this point i was thinking that it's better to be bullish at least short term but it didn't go up so this scenario became invalid and now we are around one dollar level again and no volume basically when the price was touching this one dollar mark and this is not very positive i think that we may see some uh, surrendering uh, surrender of this position from tether and probably the new leg down from for, from bitcoin is very likely to very possible to happen um, but in any way i didn't close that position i opened the long around here based on this uh, expectation these speculations it was pretty risky but it was short position well I should not have a small position um, and in fact I did some trading in this field so I, it was sort of free uh, money when I get like profit on this on the swing so and also I wanted to a little bit rebalance my portfolio because I thought I, I, I sort of felt that uh, the bull run is maybe closer than um, we would expect and I want to be more in crypto than in fiat a little bit just that shift the balance so that's what I did and I entered this position uh, long position around here I bought Bitcoin I bought some altcoins and although we went down and here is was somewhere along the uh, along, around this area it was my stop but I rebought I played with uh, um, like move moves a little bit with Bitcoin and basically I didn't have much of the loss almost I'm almost at, at the zero it broke even also uh, since I bought a lot of the alt not that much of altcoins but uh, still I um, have a position in some of those which um, made a rise from the point which I entered and although I didn't get uh, Cardano which I pretty much um, uh, unhappy about yeah but also what it was one of the the, the NEM also I didn't get the position although it was not so bad to enter a stellar so on the other hand I entered uh, ontology and somewhere around here and it shows quite of the possible rise for the next uh, leg and I enter also uh, ether somewhere somewhere around here very very <clears throat> well it was a limit limit order I was lucky it, it, it worked it and and I still hope that will it will go even higher so also some neo some um, some neo some XRP some anthology what else Pandi X Pandi X pretty much flat so anyway those altcoins which I entered there are all in plus 
uh, in profit at least um, worth of Bitcoin in the B Bitcoin um, not not fiat right so like in dollar it may be a little lower but or but basically just flat but if you um, check if you will if you'll compare it with uh, via Bitcoin then yeah it's it's positive like from few percent to 20 percent by ontology so it means that <coughs> those altcoins positions are balancing my um, my loss on Bitcoin when it was going down so it's sort of like uh, okay I will I will hold that position that was my uh, standpoint and s again um, I, I yeah I think still I think I still think that we will go down and we need to test these lower levels but as soon as we will not go there I will have this position open and it will be feel better bef uh, in f in the in front of the new rally and actually we may see the swing somewhere in, around this area so that would be the time when I maybe cover some of the gains so uh, that's that is the one thing and uh, if you want the details about the positions the the um, orders and everything you can check the telegram group I'm pretty much covered everything there so another thing which why I think the price will go lower <clears throat> but I still I want to hold it right <laughs> my, my 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 trade here but why I think it is will it will go lower we have the new uh, session uh, of the uh, equities uh, Nasdaq and S&P and, and, and Dow Jones and so on they were closed very low they closed very low something like uh, from August to October last year level and now you see this like vertical drop I would say it's pretty much bearish and a lot of the panic uh, out there on the market and it's oh it's 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 just awful and it looks like Bitcoin in February right and it may it may very well happen that we will see some reversal like even go lower and lower and then reversal and then some consolidation and then continuation of the bear market just as we saw in crypto <clears throat> but as i was saying that we don't have much of the small fish in this market in crypto i mean and uh, most of the traders investors have the their um portion of their portfolios in both markets in in uh, equities for example and crypto and as soon as they leave they're leaving this uh, bearish equities market they don't put most of like or at least more of their capital into crypto they probably will leave crypto as well because they want to have even safer because crypto is very speculative they want some safe um, hedging of their capital crypto is not that apparently although it has bigger potential and so on but it, they will not at least increase their position in crypto in my opinion and saying that by the way I must say that I was watching uh, one one technical analyst for a while um, very like relatively famous guy and uh, he was always quite objective and he was saying quite reasonable things for for like I don't know months and um, when the market went down like that and some around here this area he was saying that guys uh, yeah we have the chance to go to the bearish ter territory but you know I don't technically I don't see any reason to panic yet it's time to buy its opportunity and yeah I will do that he said because so I was watching each and every of his videos so I remember them very clearly but today well yesterday I watched his uh, video the, the recent one and in this in that video he was saying that yeah so we're technically now in the bear market it happened and what I did as I told you he said I entered short position around here here is the screenshot of my trading account or something and he showed some <clears throat> he should showed some uh, picture which each and every one of us can make in, in Photoshop in five minutes like a proof of that short position he opened and he said yeah I made a short position around here it's too bad that I couldn't refill it on this bounce it was too small so I want to make it even lower well 
uh, I don't want to say that I don't believe him it's too harsh but guys um, it doesn't th such, such behavior doesn't feel doesn't seem um, honest to me I don't know the, the conclusion for this uh, rambling is that don't believe anyone even me believe only your um, your your research and make your decision on your own don't let anyone push you to any kind of the investment decision and um, even what I everything what I say is my personal opinion not financial advice I'm not a financial advisor just be careful guys it, the, the even the most reliable sources they often are found to be found to be not well they basically dishonest let's put it that way so continuing if the price of this uh, traditional markets will go down at some at the very low point i think we will see the drop of uh, bitcoin as well and when it will happen i hope that we will not go lower than 2000 so somewhere this area and <clears throat> uh, maybe maybe this is the time to go there actually if you look at the daily chart it's it seemed like we're going down but yeah still i have a lot of fear to buy in more around here and this is my strategy okay <clears throat> sorry so um, continuing the like the fundamental issues which I was going to discuss with you is um, how and where we will go uh, in in the long uh, scale long run based on the um, our price and our fundamentals <clears throat> as you know as you know we are having continuous um, repetition of cycles of the drops and rises in Bitcoin price and some people say this harsh moment that we will go like uh, whatever hundred dollars or the Bitcoin is scam and everyone who were in the market for, for a very long time like huge players they already um, sold their positions they will sell the rest and nobody will need will use in Bitcoin and so on so leaving apart all this controversy con controversy uh, let me tell you this thing there there is a um, bunch of people probably like a group of people groups of people who are having the biggest position in Bitcoin and those people probably are able to move the market that's why you call them manipulators whales whatever and that's why the market is manipulative the thing is the, there is no actually um, evidence that those people are the biggest uh, financial like players out there in general it would mean it may mean that those whales quote-unquote whales are just the rather small ones comparing to the like the major whales which don't really which have a lot of, quite enough <laughs> quite enough of the capital just to crash those small whales which are crashing now uh, us now and they those bigger biggest whales they just didn't came in didn't come into the market yet in the crypto market yet because they wanted to be more established and just like couple years ago it wasn't established and was too risky to enter now they in principle they can and it's still very small market and it's still very high potential so they can enter now and uh, if they would then what would, would they need is to change the um, sentiment of the um, um, of the masses of the about the opinion of the of the crypto in the way that people will believe it again uh, and will uh, there is more hype and more people more liquidity because liquidity is the most important thing for those whales because they will not be able to run their capital to uh, in in this small on the small market because now it's like what is 100 billion dollars it's it's nothing they want much more to be able to make profits in order to do that what would they need is to in order to make this belief uh, trust to return is that we need to repeat the historical patterns and historical patterns patterns as we discussed already is those drops and rises uh, consequent ha consequently happening in the price of Bitcoin and 
uh, from that stand of standpoint although it's a cliche and uh, with people say no market uh, should not repeat itself history should not repeat itself in fact in order to make people believe and treat them at the very high le high level like when the market will be like hundred I don't know trillion dollars uh, then it will be the time to make uh, history uh, stop repeating himself itself but at this point at the current point we need to uh, make people believe that everything will continue happen in the same way in order to do that we need to do that so whales manipulators whatever you call them will probably move the market again to the new all-time high and in order to sustain this uh, sort of trend they would need to make it much much higher than the previous one so probably I would expect if you if you enter somewhere around here and even here you would have a lot of gains guys so just don't uh, fall into the FUD and don't sell at the bottom and don't buy again at the new time high again and the second the second issue which I'm going to share I, I was thinking about is that you see there's a lot of uh, talks about the regulations right and in fact currently uh, Bitcoin and crypto is non-regulated in general the thing is people who are working in like Wall Street for example in, in general investments and they 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 get used to uh, invest and this that's they work how they make money although they are not if they're not the part of the uh, like uh, in, uh, institutional investment groups or something they're just individuals but still if they are considering to enter uh, crypto because believe me they all know what crypto is and what is potential of, of crypto but they can't they don't want to enter just because uh, when they deal with the huge money each and every day and it is their money they very carefully approach the question the issue of the safety nest the, the, the security being safe with their investment and at the at the crypto it's not exactly the safest place so what they do what they need to do is they need to some confirmation that they will be safe investing in it and just imagine what will happen if SEC will approve ETF now we need those confirmation like with backed with fidelity with those custody solutions so if we'll have those confirmations a huge number of people with a much bigger uh, money uh, than just the crowd of, of you and I will enter the market and regardless whether they will push the price on the spot or buy deriv derivatives they still uh, provide much bigger liquidity and on this liquidity there'll be huge interest the price will go up it will be the new bull run in my opinion so uh, just imagine what will happen if ETF will be approved or or again those uh, fundamental issues will continue to rise like again back backed fidelity and so on so if, if ETF will be approved then it basically will mean that uh, all previous months uh, SEC was saying that you know the crypto market is, is non-regulated and it's really speculative and manipulative and uh, it's very uh, prone to be uh, like uh, like manipulated pump and dump whatever so we can't we can't allow you to be such an official on such an official level and then if you if they will approve uh, accept ETF on Bitcoin that would mean that all previous uh, concerns are neglected or 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 get eliminated somehow so uh, those people who are about to invest ready to invest they will say okay this is the time we are ready and they will do and we will have our our bull run guys so hopefully hopefully it was useful uh, and you think you get more optimism just the last side note uh, why I still think that we may go higher is that a lot of the altcoins which we looked at so yeah let's return just briefly on Bitcoin you see on Bitcoin we have this this level uh, is the key point to move higher because a lot of the um, trading activity was there it's, it's huge resistance so if it will if we'll break above here and hold above it it may mean that will not go even lower and return to the new rising channel rising trend and you see a lot of the altcoins like um, I don't know for example ADA uh, is showing though already that we are at this level 
for four altcoins not for bitcoin for altcoins we are already about to move to the to, to break upwards and ethereum for example as well also this is the huge area here so we are about to move there uh, like XRP, whatever, any kind of altcoin you were th you would think of, they are already approached the uh, th they were approached to this important level and like I don't know this one, um, what it is the ontology one. Also, you see this is sort of a consolidated point when there's a lot of trading action happened before. So we're already there. If we'll move there, it will be very strong. So that is why I sort of wanted to make a like a risky bet and hope that it will work and i will get a uh, better position if it will happen okay now it's really it uh, i finished hopefully it was useful if yes please subscribe to the channel leave your comment down below us uh, leave a like and i hope to see you tomorrow in the next update which i do every day for you guys safe trading goodbye